today we're going to talk about how God listens to us, right? What, what, what does God do when, whenever we speak to Him? He listens to us. That's right. He's always listening. I mean, He must have really big ears, right? To listen to all of us. But somehow He manages to hear all of us all the time, no matter how many people are talking to Him. Well, the great story in the Bible that talks about that, about how God always listens to us. And it's a story about a man named Jairus. So, let's see. I need a Jairus. Here's Jairus. Jairus is the leader of the synagogue. He's a big deal. He's very powerful. He's very important. And all the people respect him. He's a big deal. Thanks, Jairus. Come on over here, Jairus. And then we need a... And then we need one of the Jairus' friends, uh, Alex, one of Jairus' friends. So, one of Jairus' friends, he's, he's also a big deal. He's, he's friends with Jairus, and everybody knows him and respects him as well, okay? So, Jairus' friend. And then we need Jesus. That's right, we need Jesus. Now, this isn't really Jesus, just in case you thought. I think Jesus is taller, and he's better looking too. But, and he's not there. But he's around here. Like, he's everywhere, really, isn't he? But today, this is Jesus, okay? Plain Jesus. And then we need a sick little girl. Oh, here's our sick little girl. That girl would look funny in America, huh? No, this is my son, Connor, and he is a mighty man of God. He's such a mighty man of God that he doesn't mind pretending to be a little girl. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. All right, let's give our team a round of applause. Alright, so one day Jesus is going across a lake. He's just been talking to the people. He's just relaxing. He's coming across the lake. I think he's probably talking to the Father, Father God, as he crosses the lake. And he gets to the other side of the lake and he steps out of the boat. And what happens? Bunches of people come and say, Jesus, talk to us. Help us out. Jesus, we need you. So right away he gets to work. And, and one of the first people that comes to him is a man named Jairus. Come on up, Jairus. And, and Jairus has a sick little girl at the moment. So he, you think Jairus is kind of sad? He looks pretty sad, huh? It's sad, Jairus. I'm so sad for Jairus. And he loves his little girl. He is so upset. He loves his little girl. He cries so loud. And, and Jesus, you know, he wanted to help Jairus. He, and I think he wanted to stop hearing Jairus crying so loud. Jairus wouldn't stop crying loud. Loud, he was just crying. Loud. <laughs> Jesus was not really thinking that was a great noise to hear. He wanted to stop that crying. And he wanted to help Jairus too. So he said, Jairus, what's wrong? Jairus fell on the ground in front of Jesus and he banged his knees and he said, My little girl is so sick. Help me. I think she's dying. Well, without wasting one second, Jesus said, I'm coming. I'm going to fix her. All right. You think Jairus was happy? He went straight on his knees to Jesus because he knew right away Jesus was much, much greater than he was. Yeah. Okay, so Jesus is walking along, walking along, walking along, walking along, walking along, walking along. And he took a little while. I mean, who knows that Jesus doesn't always rush. Sometimes he just, you know, takes his own time, which is the right time. Walking along. And on the way, while he was walking, 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 while he was walking around, the, the whole town. He was helping a bunch of other people. He was healing people. He was talking about God. He was guiding people and sharing all about how to get to the kingdom of heaven. 
and, and there's one lady who wouldn't stop bleeding and even healed her. So Jesus was healing all kind of people and everyone was loving him. Well, it took him a long time to heal all these people, but eventually he got to Jairus' house. And there, laying down, was the girl. And she, she couldn't say anything. She was just laying down there because she was really sick. In fact, it got even worse than that. It seemed that it had taken so long to get there that she was already dead. Jairus was very upset, as you can see. One of, one of Jairus' friends really wanted to tell Jesus not to bother. So he went up to Jairus and Jesus. Don't worry, she's already dead. Go home. What a bummer, huh? That would be no fun hearing that. Jairus just kept on crying all the time. And he kept on crying. And he just kept on crying. Man, some people cry. Okay. But Jesus said... Don't worry, just believe and she'll be healed. Wow, don't worry, just believe and she'll be healed. So Jairus suddenly had a bit of hope. I have hope. All right. And Jesus walked into Jairus' house. He put his hand down to the little girl. He held her hand and said, get up, little girl. And the little girl said, I feel great. Folks, you guys did an awesome job. But what we learn from that is when when Jairus first told Jesus his little girl was sick, did Jesus hear him? Yes. That's right, he did hear him. Did Jesus heal her right away? No. No. Because he was healing other people and taking care of the whole world, right? But did he heal his Jairus' girl? That's right, he healed her. So we know, kids, we know that no matter what it is, no matter what you're saying, no matter when you say it, no matter how small, no matter how big, Jesus is always listening. And Jesus can take care of everything that you need. And he does that for everybody. He even does it for me. Okay? Yes. One of my, one of my prayers was that I could, I could get to come to Belize and meet some great, awesome loving Belizean people and, and help God and just share share His love with Belizean people. And I prayed to God about that and guess what? He brought me to you all and here we are today just talking to you and getting to know you and loving on you and I'm so excited. So now we have got a, a drama